Yesterday you learned the parts of a leaf. Today you are going to learn how a scientist would describe each part of the leaf. You will learn the descriptive terms and then you will practice using those terms as you sort leaves in the classroom. As you watch the video, point to, with your finger, point to the part of the leaf they are talking about in the video. Point to the part of the leaf on your picture leaf guide. Blades can either be flat or needle-like. When we look at a leaf, the first part of the leaf we look at is the blade. The blade is going to tell us some big general information that lets us narrow down the possibilities of what kind of tree the leaf came from. Leaves can either be needle-like, like a pine needle, or flat, like a pancake. Needle-like or flat. If you're not sure, one way that I remember it is that needle-like leaves look like a pine needle or they look like a broom. Flat blades look flat as a pancake, but they could also be like a canoe paddle. This is a canoe paddle for a person this is a canoe paddle for a mouse. So flat blades are like a canoe paddle, needle-like blades are like a broom. Blades can also be simple or compound. All of the leaves on the left over here have simple blades. One blade attached to one petiole. This leaf has one blade attached to one petiole. This leaf has one blade attached to a pretty short, but one petiole. This leaf is a little more fancy, but one leaf, or one blade, one petiole. One blade, one petiole. One big blade, one long petiole. All of these are simple. So on the right side of the table here we have the leaves with compound blades. This leaf has one very long petiole attached with one, two, three, four, five different blades. We say it is compound. Margins can be lobed or not lobed. All leaves have margins. The margin is the edge of the leaf, or the edge of the leaf's blade. Right now, everything we talk about is only about the margin or edge. So, leaf margins can either be lobed, like the leaves close to me, or not lobed, like the leaves farther away. If a leaf is lobed, you will find a place where the margin goes out, in, out, in, out, in, as you trace your finger around the margin. So this margin, three times I went out, in, out, in, out, in. So I would say that the margin of this leaf has three lobes. In contrast, the leaves over here, when I trace my finger around the margin, I go out, but I never cut back in. So it's just out, 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 and around. This leaf is not lobed. Not lobed, not lobed, not lobed, not lobed. The margin of the leaf can be smooth, toothed, or spiked. If the margin is smooth, 
I can run my finger along the edges and there are no little bumps, except maybe the bumps made by an insect eating the leaf. This would be a smooth margin or a margin with no teeth. This would also be a smooth margin with no teeth. This does have big outs and ins. It has lobes, we've learned about lobes. But between the lobes, it's all very, very smooth. So this is a smooth margin. Smooth margin. In contrast, over here, all of the leaves have teeth. Lots of little jagged edges, like the teeth on a saw, to cut. Now, they don't actually really hurt, but it looks like they could be a saw. So these would all be toothed margins. The last type that we have over here, this, ouch, this one really hurts. Doesn't even look like it might hurt, but if you touch the tips, they really hurt. So if it really, really hurts like a thorn, we would say it's spiked. Spiked hurts, tooth their little bumps, and smooth has no little bumps. The veins of a leaf can either be pinnate or palmate. Pinnate veins have one large primary vein that is thick in the middle and straight as a pin. In contrast, palmate veins have more than one primary vein coming from the petiole. Usually they'll have three or five. They're called palmate because the veins extend from the petiole just like fingers extend from the bottom of your hand. The petiole of the leaf can be long, short, or medium. If the petiole is long, it's longer or about as long as the whole leaf blade. So I can actually bend this petiole, and if I bend the petiole, it almost reaches the top of the blade. This would be an example of a long petiole. Over here, I have an example of a short petiole. This petiole, I'm not going to bend it, but if I did, it would probably only come to about my finger. This is much less than half of the length of the blade. So if the petiole was much less than half, we would call it short. And then I have this last one. When I bend it, this almost goes to halfway, so I would say this is a medium petiole. Short, much less than half, medium, about half, and long, almost as big as the whole blade or more. Those are the three different types of petioles. Now you've seen how scientists describe the different parts of a leaf. Now we're going to do an activity where you will sort leaves by the characteristics that scientists use to describe them.